should be right here. We didn't do a thumbnail, did we? It was probably me looking like this. <laughs> probably me blurring up. <laughs> That's probably what it was. Me blurring up. Check, 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 check. So we should be good. Tick, 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 tick. Hello, everybody. Tick, 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 tick. <laughs> I was making sure I could see them. <laughs> we got new mics tonight, so I just want to make sure they're working. Just making sure. Can everybody hear us tonight? So make sure we got new microphones and just want to make sure they're working. Nobody says they can hear us. Nobody says they can't hear us either, though. Well, we weren't talking. Good morning from Australia. Good sound. Good sound. All good right. sound. Good Thank deal. you, Deborah. Good uh, deal. Yep, Deborah was the first one, I believe. Please so. Fine <laughs> here. All right. So just wanted to make sure because we got new microphones and want to make sure they're working good. We got a little background. You can't see the cog heel. Maybe I should just sit like this. But it was kind of a spur of the moment thing. Yeah. I just we're I gonna knew, start hanging stuff up. Yeah, I knew yeah. where that sign was, so I thought, well, it looked better than the gray, boring wall behind us. But and we we're, do. We're probably gonna move the studio right there. Yeah, I think. I, I think so too. We we still don't know exactly what we're gonna do up here. That's right. Because initially we thought we'd put wheels on this couch and mm -hmm. make it go both directions so when jason and mary carl are watching tv they can wheel it back over here in front right. of the tv and then uh, the more i think about it, the more i think that that just may not be a good idea and we need a taller i don't know we'll figure it out we'll figure it out we'll figure it out they can hear us and see us so that's good i just remembered something i was supposed to do earlier and i forgot <laughs> what was that I was supposed to look for something for a pigeon cage to go on for it to elevate it a little bit. Oh. And I just totally forgot. Okay. Until we start talking about. Talking about elevating this. There's so many Telling things this. that I just need a Rolodex. <laughs> a, a really a Rolodex that can work. <laughs> you know, in our last, was it our last live we talked about the dentist? Yes, it was. Or was it the live before last? I think it was the last one because... I was saying that I had to get my windshield repaired, and you were yeah. saying you had to go to the dentist. I went to the dentist today. You did? I did. You didn't get any went, shots, though. I didn't get any shots. I didn't get any. You know what? I should have asked them, could I get some laughing gas when they gave my teeth clean? That's what well, I should have done. I'm glad you forgot. <laughs> um, I don't think they just hand that stuff out. Mm, can, you give me, can you give me some laughing gas? I had a nap. Did you? Mm. That's what I should ask. But I did go to the dentist and got my teeth clean and looked at, and I was no cavity, so I don't have to have any shots. You got the all or clear. drilling. You got the all clear. Is there any any sound worse than that dentist drill? Okay, let's, I mean, let's, let's don't talk about the dentist drill. Man, even when you're in there getting your teeth clean, you can hear it like off in the distance. Yeah. That's woo woo. You're making a show woo. of teeth. <laughs> oh my gracious. I do want to say, big announcement today, caught us by surprise, and she don't, she really don't get it. I don't. But Brooke was trending on YouTube, which means Brooke was on the trending page on YouTube. That A lady, she thinks we're talking to her. She her said, name I'm ain't sorry, Brooke. I didn't hear that. Her name ain't Brooke. So, Alexa, cut the radio off. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> she just started playing the radio, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. But Brooke was trending on YouTube and was YouTube rising star, a rising creator, they call it, they call it that, which means 
when you went to the home page of YouTube, Brooke would have been like right there, which is, and she is for today. For 24 hours, Brooke was recognized as a rising star on YouTube. And that is crazy. I've known, trying to think, people in this in this niche, or whatever. Lester got it. Longhorn Lester got it. I remember you a couple telling of me ago. Yeah. when Lester got it. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. It would kind of be, it would kind of be like if you wrote a song, and it made the Billboard top twenty-five for one day. I mean, uh, sort of kindish, but I mean, it's because I don't know how many gazillion YouTube creators are out there, but Brooke was on the trending page of YouTube, which was unbelievable, which is I crazy. I don't know anything about crazy. it. Crazy. I was um, preparing breakfast this morning <laughs> and I have an Apple watch that I wear and mm -hmm. it's just helps me if I'm expecting a phone call right. or somebody to text me and emails show up on my watch. And so I looked down at it and it said, YouTube star. And so I grabbed my phone and mm -hmm. I went and I looked at my email. Rising star. And Jason was upstairs working on today's thumbnail. And I said, hey, Jason, YouTube says I'm the rising star. <laughs> and he said, who told you that? I did. And I said, I just read it in an email. And about that time, he hollers back and he said, Brooke, I don't think you realize what this is. And I still didn't and I still don't. Creator on the rise, right there. She got the, she got that little badge right there. Creator on the rise badge for 24 hours. Yeah, it's a big deal. It is a big deal. So, so do I get a plaque or something? You think? No, I don't. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know maybe, what you get. Maybe I can make Lester a plaque and he can make me one. Yeah, maybe I can do that. <laughs> maybe we can do that. Yeah, I might have but, to talk Mary Carl into making his plaque because I don't know how. Yeah, you may have talked to Mary Carl about Mary making Carl can paint and draw and do all that stuff. But anyway. It was awesome. Regardless, it was it was really, really awesome. Well, and um I was I was so proud of you. I well, was I posted it everywhere. Even all of my personal stuff. I posted I will say <laughs> I don't know who's responsible for the <laughs> YouTube Rising Star Award. I don't I don't I don't how it works. I really don't. Well Thank you from the bottom of my heart to YouTube. <laughs> I don't know how it works. I don't know either. But you know what? Mm. I didn't give myself any credit for it. Because mm -mm, you really, like I said, you really didn't. No, no, no. I'm saying, do you know why I didn't? Why? That's because without you, I wouldn't have got the award. Well. So you have a right to be excited because it's kind of yours. I was just excited for you. I well, thought it was I know, awesome. but I'm saying yeah, if Cog Hill Pond didn't exist, yeah. then I would have never gotten that award because people wouldn't want to watch me if they didn't know who you were. Well, Cog Hill Farm knows we, though. It's not just it me. It is we, but it started out as you. It's not just me. Now it's we. Now, now it's, it's us. We. Yeah. It's not we, it's us. <laughs> it's us. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so if y'all can tell, I'm feeling a little better. You are feeling a bit. You, you I'm had feeling a hundred. You had a migraine, or I was getting over a migraine, or was having a headache in the last live, and um, you were supposed to. Uh, we said that we we're going to try to get your videos out on Tuesdays or Thursdays. We're trying to figure out your schedule, and then you you didn't feel like it at I all. I just didn't, y'all. I yeah. mean, I apologize. I'm the rising star <laughs> award winner, and I failed on the job. Yeah, but guess what? Got one. I'm back out. in the saddle because I got a, a video coming out. Got a video coming out tomorrow. tomorrow. I, I edited it today. Yes. And it will be coming out tomorrow. And y'all, it's about it's about tractors. I don't know who in this family likes tractors, <laughs> but um, <laughs> it, it, it's something to do with tractors. <laughs> oh, and me. that means it's something to do with me. So yep. Mary Carl's not in the video. I'm Sorry to disappoint anybody, yeah. but she will be in the next one. That's right. We already have plans of what we're going to talk about. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited to be back. I'm excited to be headache free. That's right. Uh, I, you know, when you have something that ails you, it's just everything just doesn't seem right. That's right. And that's the way I felt Monday and Tuesday. And I just felt like nobody wanted to see me if I didn't 
feel 100%. You could tell. I mean, yeah. it's reflected in your personality. I guarantee you, y'all can tell that I feel better. Probably so. Versus the way I looked and acted in the last one. I agree. And so that's why, you know, while we try to set a schedule, sometimes that schedule is not possible. And that goes for everything. It, yeah. Except for except for this. And, and, and this makes me really antsy to talk about. What's that? So I had to make an immediate trip over to Prattville, Alabama, which is about 25 miles from us. Right. Because Roberto and Heidel are here building our pantry shelves, and I didn't buy enough stain. You didn't buy enough stain. I didn't buy enough stain. I bought a quart, which is, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I bought I a quart. Know. I know I you, was, I, you didn't feel good. Yeah. And you're in a rush. Yes, because that was the day I had got my windshield put in my car. Yes. And so um, it just, I, I just felt like things were going all different directions. Right. And so I grabbed one quart of stain in Prattville. And it just so happened to be from Home Depot that sells, and I, I'm going to say this wrong, Varna thing. Varna. Okay, and, and this is how I know I'm saying it wrong. We I don't bought, say nothing wrong. I bought the quart. <laughs> yeah. Never crossed my mind that that might not be enough stain. Yeah. This afternoon, late after they had, you know, used about three quarters of a can of stain. Right. They said well, they're going to need some more stain. They're going to need some more stain. I thought, okay, I'll just run to town and go get it. Right. Then I realized that it was. V A R N A T H A N E, which is not a brand. Verithane. Okay. You Ver Ver stole my thunder. Oh. So. <laughs> you spelled it. I said it. I, okay. didn't, I didn't know where you was going with it. <laughs> well, I still thought it was Barnathane. You know how we say the. What? Pota J and <laughs> stuff like that. We put an L in salmon. That's right. <laughs> Woo, boy, we get in trouble for that one. Oh gosh, what's that state that we always say wrong? Gosh, what? Who? Who knows? Illinois. Oh, <laughs> put an e on the end of it. So I thought I was. That's okay. Oh me! <laughs> I was in town anyway when you I'm, told me. I'm crying. Go I needed ahead. the stain. Uh huh. You're making me laugh. I was in 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 our big city of Clanton, right, Alabama. That's right. I thought, okay, well, that's good. I'm glad that they thought about it while I'm in town. I was at the washateria mm -hmm. washing a rug that was too big to wash in my machine. That's right. So I then realized that I got varnathane <laughs> that wasn't I ain't never heard of it. sold <laughs> anywhere here, anywhere local. What's funny is that you sent me a text and said, what is it called? And first thing, I knew it started with a V, so I just assumed it was Valspar. <laughs> No, well, Val's saying that's that's wrong make pink, but but I just told you Val. Yeah, because well, I, I didn't mean, know how to spell it. I I <laughs> wanted to know the sheen and all that kind of stuff. Oh. But the reason I bought that brand was because it was low VOC. Right, it was water based, low it was VOC. Water based, mm -hmm. low VOC, and and what we have here locally is Rust Oleum. Yeah, is it Rust Oleum or Minwax? Both. Rust Oleum we can or get both Minwax. Yeah. And it just didn't occur to me that I'd need more than a quart when I was at Home Depot. Bought the quart of sealer, bought the quart of stain. That's right. I said, hmm. So I'm sitting at the washateria and I Google, if I use another brand stain in the same color, is it going to match? My answer was, it's probably not. <laughs> it's probably not going to match. Oh, me. So I call Russell Do It Center. Because I knew they sold another brand, but I couldn't remember what brand it was. What brand they sell? And I said, do y'all sell Varna Stain? <laughs> and they said, ma'am. And I said, it's Stain. And it's spelled V-A-R. <laughs> and he went and looked and he came back and he said, no, ma'am, we don't. I said, okay. So then I called Mullins. I was going to ask you, did you call Mullins? This is where the kicker came in. I, I don't know about the Mullins. I called Mullins. Yeah. And they said, Mullins decorating, can I help you? I said, yes, sir. Do y'all sell Varna Thane? <laughs> and he said, ma'am, are you talking about, you say it. You said it. Varathene. Varathene. Yeah. 
And I said, yeah, that's it. And he said, no, ma'am, I think that's a Home Depot exclusive. <laughs> What's funny is if he knew what you were saying. He knew what I was saying. <laughs> and I said, oh, okay. Oh, my gracious. So I'm in town. Yeah. I thought to myself, I sure don't want to have to go to Prattville. Not that it, it just it just wasn't the right time. Well, it was late in the evening. Yeah. We yeah. was winding down. So you've already been to town already. Yeah, I don't take two tri trips. That's yeah. just a no no. Right. We just don't go to town twice. That's right. <laughs> and I know and I know been to You've been to Selma. Selma, right? which was an hour. Uh, well, get, both ways. First, yeah, that's right. Two hours to get my teeth clean. So Mary yeah. Carl's in a tizzy because she's got to get back home. Because she's got to feed some birds. Mm -hmm. So, Jason and I had talked, and we were going to go, well, I was going to go, and pick us up something to cook on the grill from Bee's Market. Yeah, we while were. While I was in Clinton. We were, or you were, I was going to cook some, we thought about some steaks. and They've got all kind of goodies, so I it, didn't know what I was after. Right. I was going fi to find out when I got there. That's right. So... Walmart had a Rust-O-Limb that was water-based, but I didn't think it was going to match. Mm -hmm. Mary Carl said, Mama, I cannot wait 10 more minutes because I have got to get home and feed those babies. And I mean, oh, she meant business. Gracious. And I said, okay, I understand. I said, I'm just going to take you home yeah. and I'm going to come back to town. So I got home. And I had already got in my mind that I said, even though the Rust-Oleum is a different brand yeah, yeah. than the right, Barna thing, right. I bet we could pour those two together. <laughs> and make one color. And make one color. Well, here's my, did you did you buy the Rust-Oleum yet? I couldn't because I had to get me crawl back home. Oh. So I get home and I'm loading, unloading the rug that I went and washed at the Washateria. Right. And I walk over to Heidel. And I said, Heidel, I got a question for you. If I go and buy another brand stain that's the same exact color, is it going to match? Probably not. <laughs> but it might, <laughs> but probably not. Probably not. I was wondering if it'd just be close enough. Well, you know, I'm thinking it's our pantry. But then I'm thinking I'm the kind of person that notices everything. So, go ahead. I, you. you I'm going to lose my train of thought. You're going to lose your train of thought. So here I am back at home. Right. I can A, go back to Walmart mm -hmm. and get the low VOC Rust-Oleum that is probably not going to match. Right. And get us something to cook on the grill. Or B, drive over to Prattville and get the right thing. About this time, Heidel tells me I better get two. I better get two. I better get two quarts of stain because I might. He might come up a little short. So what did the YouTube trender of the day, Rising Star, do? The YouTube trender, <laughs> Rising Star of the day, got in the Subaru I, yeah. and drove Prattville. And so you went to go get the valve. The But I couldn't the, do that until Mary Carl finished feeding her the birds. birds. <laughs> the, what was that? What was that? My gracious. That was weird. So I, I, I get in the Subaru and Jason stays here. We caught a ghost on cock live on cock. Did y'all see that photo across the face? <laughs> and got in the car with Mary Carl. Yeah. And she had fed her birds that she needed to. And we are literally saying we're going straight there and straight back. Right. I get to Prattville. I go to Home Depot. Mm -hmm. My thoughts are I'm going to buy a gallon. Because I don't want to run out. That's what I was thinking. Out. I don't want to run out. He told me he probably is going to need two quarts. Yeah. So I thought, you know what? Two quarts is so It's like costly. It's like five more bucks and you can get a gallon. Five more bucks you can get a gallon. And yeah. I thought, well, I can always use some dark walnut stain right. or something. Yeah. So I was going to get a gallon. I go in there. And y'all, the low VOC, they don't, I don't know if they don't make it, but they did not have anything in a gallon. In a gallon. Not one color. Not mm. not Zero. early American, not ebony, not dark walnut. Yeah. That's crazy. So I said, well. That is crazy. I'll just have to get the two quarts. Right. So I'm looking on the tags because I didn't see any dark walnut. Uh -huh. Looking on the tags, looking on the tag. Finally, I found a tag for dark walnut. There's nothing there. I said, oh, great. 
no great. This is just what I needed. Zero, uh, cores. zero cores. So I, you know, I start moving them all and moving them all because nothing was where it was supposed to be. Yeah. And I found a dark walnut. So I put it in the bogey <laughs> and I thought, well, I got one, you know, that's better than nothing. Right. But maybe they got another one. So I looked everywhere, looked everywhere, and I didn't see anything. I looked at every single court they had, but I thought, you know, they might have it stored away. So I went and found a worker and got them to scan the label. She said, we only have one. Mm. We only have one. So I have one quart of stain. Here's my thinking, though. I got a backup plan. If we have to go to Walmart and get the other brand, mm -hmm. we can stain the bottom. Yeah. And I'll tell I'll tell Roberto and Heidel that in the morning. Well, you tell them to stretch it out as long stretch as they can. Stretch it out as long as they can. <laughs> they got to get their paint. I'm gonna tell. I need to send him a text and tell no, him to bring don't bring do that. Don't to bring do that. his paint stretcher. With don't him. do that. <laughs> don't do that. That might confuse him. You, go ahead. Oh well, I was just gonna say. So I got a quarter stain. You got a quarter stain. That's a quart more than I had. Right. And I guess I should be thankful that I got a quart more than what I. What I left with, I could have got there and they not had any. any. Yeah, that's true. Because it's not like, I mean, I couldn't have ran across the street to Lowe's and go get it because Lowe's doesn't sell Varna thing. <laughs> Just Home Depot. Just Home Depot <laughs> sells Varna thing. <laughs> oh, my gracious. You, you made me think of something. What? We were talking about how two quarts, you know, it's four quarts in a gallon, two quarts, and it's like two or three more dollars you can buy a gallon. Mm -hmm. You know what else is like that? What? TVs. Yeah, you're right. You can go in there and you're saying, I need a 32-inch TV. And by the time you leave, you got a 103-inch TV That's because right. it's like 20 more bucks. Yeah. You can get the bigger TV. It used to not be like and that. And then 20 more bucks, you can get the other bigger TV. Next thing you know, Next you got a forklift out there trying to put it in the back of your, on top of your car. Well, perfect example is the last TV that we bought, Yeah, we put on the top of my car. <laughs> It's because we took the car <laughs> expecting to get a normal size TV. It was like twenty five more dollars. <laughs> you can get the the next size up. And you know, you're like that's crazy. And what was funny is, is when we were walking out of Walmart, there was an old older gentleman that worked there, and he was grinning from ear to ear because he knew what I had done. Uh huh. He saw me walking out. He and he said, he said they cheap now, ain't they? And I said, yes, sir, they are. He's like. Yep, and you can just get just get a bigger one for a little bit more. And I was like, you're exactly right. And he, he I don't know if he saw me back there to talking to, you know, I was probably talking to myself back probably there. probably were. You know, probably having a, a great conversation and trying to figure out what I needed to do. But I just noticed that recently because we bought a new TV for right. up here and for me and Miracle to watch movies with. And I had no idea that it was just that much difference. You know, it's crazy. And, and, well, once we figured out that we were getting the big one, we didn't have any straps in the car. <laughs> yeah, we there we went again. What was that? Is it my bottom reflection? I bet that's what it is. I grabbed that bottom. Whatever it so is, then we is had enjoying to go, the podcast. We had to go and and buy some some straps so we, we could did. put the TV on the roof of the car and we get did. it home. Well, I had measured it and I thought well, we can get this in here. You know, it's. And there's, is there a, oh, it's a bug. Okay, that explains it. It was a little nap, I was just about to have a come apart. There it is. I, I, I get him. Okay. <laughs> there okay. it is. Okay, yes, let's get him. If there I get him on is. That, is that him? No, that's the arrow. That's the arrow. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Whoo! Okay. All right, so we don't need to throw any holy water no, out or no. have an exorcist in here or nothing, so we're good. But, so, I had marriage at the back of the car, and I knew what we could get in there. Yeah. Next thing I know, I'm like, Brooke, I don't think this can fit. Well, Brooke thinks anything can fit. I do. She does. She thinks if, if Brooke drove a Volkswagen Beetle, she would think she could load up, you know, you know, 12, 6 by 6, 16 foot post in it. It's just how you are. You just yeah. think they're all going to fit. And I was like, it's not going to fit. And you're like, it's going to fit. And it's, and it's like, okay, you say it's going to fit. And I was like, it ain't going to fit. I used to. And I, Mary Carl's over there agreeing with me. Mary Carl's in the background going, and I was like, well, she says it's going to fit, Mary Carl. Well, you just let me deal with it, right? But I did think it could go on the roof. Well. And it did. Yeah. And we bought some straps <laughs> just in case it wouldn't go yeah, in there. that's right. Because you were so confident it wasn't, and I was so confident it was. <laughs> you know, my, I, I wasn't, I don't think I was considering that we had a child that had to ride in the back seat in a seat belt. 
I guess I thought she was going to ride on the roof and the TV was going to be in the back seat. <laughs> oh, be like in the old days yeah. and you rode in the con yeah. console. Yeah. God, right. ain't that crazy? That's my, I, was, I sat on the console. Um, back when I had a Chevrolet yeah. Sonic. Yeah hatchback right. mind you mm -hmm. it was just a little teeny tiny car but it got excellent gas mileage and i was going back and forth to I like school that car i liked it too i did i like that little old car i had to take mary carl to school which was about 25 miles one way mm -hmm. so you know i'm going 50 miles every day in that little car and it was getting like close to 50 miles to the gallon wasn't it Mm -hmm. It was. It was getting good gas mileage. It was getting good gas mileage. So Bear was alive then, and Bear was our great Pyrenees. And Bear, I mean, Bear didn't come out a little boy. Bear probably weighed 25 pounds He's when he came in. out. He's a big one. He was a big dog. He's a big one, yeah. And literally, he weighed probably 120, wouldn't you say? It, yeah, he was a big boy. But not only was he big, he was tall. Very he tall. He was so tall. He was. And I can remember having to take Bear to the vet for a shot. And not, <laughs> he didn't know how to ride in the back of the truck. So no. that wasn't an option. I, I couldn't have got him in I the mean, back of the truck. We'd have to have a forklift. You had yeah. to put him in the tractor bucket and lift him up, put well, him in there. <laughs> it was the little tractor then, so it might not have lifted. It would have struggled. <laughs> So I, I got my little my little hatchback car and laid my seats down and mm -hmm. I put his front paws on the back and then I had to lift his. He was just so gentle. He would he let was. you do He's anything a big old, with him. Big old baby. And if y'all don't know, the bear passed away a few months ago. Mm -hmm. He was he was a he was probably eleven years he was, old. He was eleven. And being yep. so big, you know, that was just that was he lived his life and That's we're right. we're sad that he's not with us. But I thought I could that one. Too, I, um picked him up and put him in my car and of course I rolled the windows down in the back. Right. The two back seats and y'all should have seen the looks I got because his <laughs> his back literally was that far from the top of the car. Yeah. And I had a sunroof. And yeah. so I had the sunroof open and old bear me and Bear were chilling. I mean <laughs> that big, big old boy. huge dog hanging he was out the a window. Big dog. And then, then there was a couple of times that I put a couple of square bales of hay on the roof of that car because I yeah. had a basket on it. For we put a basket. Of, we even put a, a a mini refrigerator up there. Remember? Yeah, yeah we put we a mini a refrigerator. I think that was for the canned ham. It wasn't to use on the roof. It yeah. was to get from point A to point B, That's so right. we could use it in the little yeah. camper. You would put. We would put hay up there for sure. Yeah, yeah. Put hay I on forgot the, all on about the roof us putting hay on the on the little Chevy Sonic yep. roof rack. Yep, sure so, did. You know, nothing, nothing's ever too big for Brooke. Somebody said, right there, just caught my eye. Deborah said her neighbor put a mule in a pinto and drove it home. Now that's, that's funny right I there. I remember <laughs> seeing the video of the horse uh, uh, in the convertible uh, uh, car going through the oh, yeah. drive through Yeah. I don't know when that was. But it was, that was like a boss hall car. It was funny. Yeah. It was Had funny. the big horns on I told Lester he needs to get him some of them horns put on his truck. He could put them on the camper. Like Boss Hog had. He could put them on the back of the camper. He could do and that, And when too. he's towing the camper, they could see that it's Longhorn Lester. That, uh, that, on the front of his truck, that would be good, too. He can he make would... his tag say LHL. Yeah. Longhorn Lester. Something like that. Yeah, that'd be a good one. That would be a good one. So, all in all, I guess this week went pretty well. This I got my windshield. Week. Woo! I got my windshield. Mm -hmm. uh, you got your teeth cleaned. Um, where else did we have to go? You got your gas. Yes, I got propane. You got your propane tank. We yeah. got to meet, see Mr. Greg. We ain't seen Mr. Greg in a long time. And you didn't get to see Mr. Greg today. I didn't get sick. I had to go get my teeth cleaned. But, but I got to you talk got to, to see Mr. Greg. Greg talk to Mr. Greg. Uh, the gas guys came and put your propane tank in, and uh, everybody they, um, wanted to know what the first thing I was gonna cook was. Yeah, and this doesn't count. But I boiled some noodles last night. For Did Mary you Carl. really? Yes, we I, were eating while I was boiling them. I was editing video. No, it? no, no. You and I were eating shrimp tacos. Yeah. And I was boiling noodles at the same time. Oh. She won't I got eat. You. She. I had some some Gulf shrimp. Yeah. That was prepackaged. Mm -hmm. And Jason and I had air fried blackened shrimp. It was good. Tacos. Mary Carl good. wouldn't eat it. She wouldn't eat it. So I had to boil her some noodles and make her some spaghetti. She didn't know what she missed out on. She told me she might try it, but then when she took a look at it, she said, <laughs> It looked good, though. 
We can buy, we bought some, put some cabbage on it. Put some cabbage, cilantro. And some cilantro on it. And good some salsa. good salsa on it. Avocado. Avocado. Yes, it was so good. It was delicious. And I just started using my air fryer uh, not too long ago. What did I, oh, air fried chicken wings. I talked about it. Oh, yeah, we talked about the air fried chicken wings. So, and I even asked you. Could I get some more? You, know? you did, and I told you I had to get my sink going. Sink, part for the sinks here. Yes. We're waiting on the backsplash, but Mr. Greg dug the trench for the, it was funny. Mr. Greg dug the trench for me. I got him, I talked to the gas guys, and you're going to have to cross over the septic tank line where we put the, uh, the uh, tank, the, the propane tank. And so to get the line to the house, you're going to have to cross over the septic tank line. Then you're going to have to cross the water, and then you're going to have to cross electrical. And the, the 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 gas guys could be the best trench digging, gas laying people in the country, but I just trust Mr. Greg. I do, y'all. I watched him. This is no lie. And this was with a with a um, excavator. I watched him dig that trench, and when he got to those lines, it was like, it was it was like a mama, you know, picking up a baby. He, 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 listen, there was it's it's one motion. It's like his own hand. It blows my mind. That arm comes off that excavator, and there's no jerking. It's just as smooth as you reaching down with your hand and and picking up a pencil. You know, people were wondering when we were. Building the pond, and yeah. Greg was doing it. Yeah, people were wondering if Greg could pick up an egg with hey, the good. bucket. Y'all, when he got near those lines, I'm telling y'all, he didn't. He 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 didn't hit a line or nothing. He just goes, and it's just it's just as smooth and just smooth as silk, and just just as gentle, and just just like that. And <laughs> it just it, it Jason blows. was amazed. I was absolute because I've seen the opposite. Uh-huh. I've seen the You're talking opposite. about me, aren't you? No. Oh. I've seen the opposite. I've seen I've seen myself drive a backhoe. And and you work in that bucket and it, you know, I go and stop and it goes do 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 do. Yeah. Do 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 do. It ain't like that with him now. It's just as smooth just like this. He knows what he's doing, he, that's for sure. He could pick up an egg and not crack it. One hundred percent. When he came today, we were gonna pay him for what he did. And when he came today, I told him, I said, Greg, I said, look. I said, we can't thank you enough for coming over here and digging this ditch because yes. Jason was so worried. Beyond worried, y'all. I was worried because I, I didn't want nobody to hit the septic tank line because that would have been a big ordeal. And then I didn't want them to hit the water. This was the water. This would have been the water feeding our house and Brooke's mom's house. So that would have been a big ordeal. And it's not like we have a camper that we can go live in until that gets fixed. And then that they would he hit the power, that would have knocked the power out to your mom's house. So, I mean, it, it had me worried. It really did have it me did worried. It did because you were, you were the one that talked to the gas guys. Yeah. I wasn't here that yeah, day. Yeah, that's right. And you said, Brooke, after talking to them, I get the idea that they're not going to, know where the lines are even if we mark it yeah. and there's no way they possibly could right because we didn't exactly know where they were we kind of knew the general area we, that right. they were in. but i knew exactly where the power was it was the water line and greg did the see greg did the septic tank mm -hmm. so i was really That's comfortable was with him yeah greg he knew knew. exactly where the septic tank the only one was the water mm -hmm. and we kind of we were we were 95 percent sure we were pretty close then and we were we were dead on we were dead on where the water was and yeah it was um, it was just amazing. It was, and then when he 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 didn't use a trencher. This was the funny part. Our ground out here, y'all. It and I'm not, and it hasn't rained. This is going on six weeks. Okay, so it I'm talking to Mr. Rained. Greg today yeah. while you were gone, right? And Greg and I are talking about, you know, what we're going to do to the driveway. Mm -hmm. And he told me he was talking to a gentleman this week that he was doing some driveway work for, right? And that gentleman said he did something with. I don't know, forestry or something. Anyway, that this is the driest it's been since 2009. I believe it. I told Mary Carl I when I went it. inside, I said, Mary Carl, 2009 was almost 13 years ago because she's about to be 13. Y'all see that right there? Oh, it went away. That right there, that's my timer. 
I'm watering the fruit orchard right now with my drip irrigation. I got it on timer. I mean, but, but our, even even if it wasn't dry, our ground is hard as concrete. Now with no rain, y'all, I, I had to do a little digging and to put in a, a little border for the, the rose engine. swag. And I had a, I got a pick, and it just needs to be about yay deep. And the sparks fly when I hit the ground. I'm not lying. And so Greg came in with that excavator. It doesn't phase it. You know, mm -hmm. it don't phase it. It just digs right through it. Well, when the gas guys pull up, <laughs> they pull up. And so they're hooking up the gas lines and stuff. And me and Mr. Greg are sitting there just, you know, talking and just having a good time. And me and him both noticed their, their trenching machine in the back of their truck. And I looked at Greg and I'm like, is that what they would have used on our... <laughs> It looked like it looked like my tiller. It looked like my little, like a Troy built tiller that that was like it runs on two slack of oil. I mean, it, it, it. And I thought to myself, boy, oh boy, they would have caught the devil because they would have hit that, and that thing would have been jumping. Oh told, my gracious! Greg, oh my. Greg told me today. He said, "Girl." He said, you wasn't here when they brought that little old trencher. He said, that thing wouldn't have done the job. <laughs> they, they, they would have had to gone back home and gotten something else. He it, said, it, it wouldn't have done it. And yeah. I, that's when I was telling them, you know, how much we appreciated him. That's right. Coming over and taking time out and digging the trench for us. Because He really... told me, listen to this now. He told me, he said, as soon as the gas, because he dug the trench on Tuesday and the gas guys came on Wednesday. So he dug the trench on Tuesday. He came there Tuesday afternoon, dug the trench. Then he left. And he told me when he left, he said, as soon as the gas guys get here, send me a text. I was like, okay. <laughs> so the gas guys got there, but about 9, 30, 10 o'clock? They got, well, I had already left. So, yeah, I guess. Somewhere around there. So I sent him a text, and here he come. And then it took the gas guys like an hour and a half, two hours to hook everything up. And, you know, Greg didn't have to stay there that whole time, but he did. Yeah, he told me that he was trying to slow down a little bit. Yeah. That he's not taking on as much work as he once did. And I know that his family is glad. He lost his wife uh, a little over a year ago, and he has um, some grandchildren. That's right. live right Twins. there beside him. <laughs> some twin girls. That's right. And they're five years old. And they are his life. So I know that his family's glad to see him slowing down some. And um, he probably enjoyed just staying over here, hanging he out. He probably did. Me and him, we talked the whole time. We had a good time. He's a we really, really good guy. We and really did. We're so thankful. I know we've said that for months. But yeah. we're so thankful that we have Uncle Greg. That's right. In our back pocket. <laughs> and, and, and I've got somebody coming to look at the tiny house in the morning. Yeah. And if all goes well, Greg told me, he said, I got, um, I'm pretty planned out for next week. Right. He said, but you let me know and we'll get that driveway started. Got to get the driveway started. And we got the, the power company. Got to get them. And I yeah, know they're not going to be in no, I tell me and him both agree. They're not going to be in a real rush of getting that pole down. Well, I, mean, I told him, I said, if the tiny house were to sell. Yeah. It's not like it's going to be hauled off on Monday. Right. Because that's going to have to be arranged as well. And the guy from the power company told me they were going to try to get to it this week. Which, okay. No, this oh. week is over by right. a couple of three hours. That's right. Clock. So that means that next week. Bug. You know, yeah. they didn't get to it this week. That's fine. They'll get to it next week. And, and I know they're not in no hurry. Well, we're not in that big We're not in no hurry either. either. We, yeah. just, we just want it to, you know, to happen so we can have our driveway That's right. Done. And he did say he didn't want to touch anything until the tiny house is out of the way to yes. prevent any damage and... Plus, there's some stuff he wants to straight. He don't like the way that heel looks where that tiny house he is. He, he doesn't. Me and he told me today that he thinks that he's going to put two pipes in instead of one. Yep. That's what he he, he was contemplating that. And then, so he's going to decide he wants to he put said, two pipes I, in. I said, Greg, I said, we're going to leave it up to you. Yeah. Whatever you tell us you think is going to work is mm -hmm. what we're going to do because we totally trust him. That's right. And he said, you know, some people put pipes in and they don't never keep the end of them cleaned out. Right. He said, but I know that y'all are, you know, up and down this road all the time and you're not people that's going to let it get clogged up. That's he right. Said, and I think two pipes would be better. And so 
that's kind of where we left it. <laughs> we'll put two pipes we'll in. We'll put two pipes in. Well, Greg will put two pipes in. Yeah, we won't do it. We won't. We won't do it. But he did tell me that the with the price of concrete right now, he said rock prices haven't changed. That's what he told me. They've gone up, if anything. Uh -huh. They haven't gone down. He told me that a dump truck load of Crush Run is $1,000. And he said, Rook, he said, I'm willing to bet that when you start pricing material for the driveway, that you could just about concrete that driveway for the price of gravel. Ain't that something, y'all? Concrete has gone. He told me that concrete in the next couple of weeks is going to be as cheap as it was in the 80s. Yeah. So That's if y'all got crazy. something that you want concreted, yeah. you might. He said for us to go ahead and get prices on what we want done up around the house. Okay. He said, and then, you know. Just keep a check on it. That's right. He said, you might go ahead and get that poured because it can't be poured all at one time anyway. That's true. You're right. He said, it's going to have to be sectioned. That's right. So let's, you know, if the price is right, go ahead and do what's up at your house and mm -hmm. then we'll add it, add on to it, providing the price is right. So it's not like it was planned out that we would ever do a concrete driveway. But my goodness, if it's the same price as what gravel would be, then yeah. I think that's crazy. I mean, that would... and, and That then, blows my mind. That just blows my mind. And then we started talking about the width of it. Mm -hmm. And he said that, um, you know, he thought 10 foot... 10 was, foot. Here I am telling you, like, we're sitting here together talking and nobody's listening. <laughs> nobody's listening. <laughs> I'm sure y'all don't want to hear all this, but he said oh, 10 foot gosh. he thought would be good. Okay. Because... Um, he said, it's not like we're going to be passing somebody a lot. We could just get over if we saw somebody was coming. That's right. We ain't going to be, we ain't going to be Dale Earnhardt Jr. and down through there. Well, I might be on my tires. tractor or something. <laughs> yeah. You <laughs> probably will be. It, it, you know, it just is, it's crazy to me to think that the price of concrete could be that cheap. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, I'd love a concrete driveway providing, yeah. you know, it's, a, it's the same cost and, Mm. He brought it up, not me. Uh, He's been talking to me about it, showing up. He's showing up, been talking to me about it. Because I wanted to know how many loads of gravel it was going to take. Yeah. And this ground is so hard here that he said he wanted to take some of that topsoil that's around the power pole. Yeah. And and kind of grade it down towards the pond. He's got it all planned out. He's got it all planned out. That way, um, I, that's a good good thing too, because then we can we can um get our trees and some grass and right. all that going in there too so that's our plan is where the driveway is now is to plant some trees there and some grass and that would give us some privacy and then as they get tall that also should semi-shade where the uh, animals are too right so that, um that'd be perfect absolutely but, perfect you know in the um oh goodness what video was it that we did and we were talking about how we were going to do the yard in the future and a lot of people had questions about how we were going to keep the house from flooding. How are we going to keep all that water from coming towards our house? Yeah, nothing's changing. Nothing's changing. But but what I wanted to say is... And plus, all the, everything's any, sloped away from the house, too. That's right. Yeah. But anybody that knows Greg Davis... <laughs> There ain't no water getting in his house. Knows pot. <laughs> that he knows what he's doing. There ain't no water getting in his house. And, and it takes me that close to say, Greg knows what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Enough said. Yeah, because our house, it does go down in the hill, but then the house where the house is built, it actually goes back up. It does. So it's on the upper pad. So we're fine there. We had no water issues. We don't we don't have any water issues here. No. None. And we never will. As long yeah. as Greg's our guy. Yeah, it's just this we're we're that's that's beyond. Speaking of water, I want to talk about my water setup that I did in my last video. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was today. It came out today, but I, I do want to clarify some things. Um, I think 95% of the people got the video and mm -hmm. understood what I was doing. And there were some people that think I was making a mistake and that kind of thing. But I do want to say that if y'all go back and look, and because I didn't say anything about it, but I put that piece of fence on that one water for weeks because mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure that it was safe and that it worked and that, and then it was going to be no issues whatsoever. And we had other waters at the same time, other waters at the same time. So I did that for, for, for several. And I even mentioned in the video that I had it, and I had experimented with this for weeks prior to me making the decision 
to put the 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 uh, cattle panel on top of the waters because I wanted to I wanted to make sure it was completely safe for the animals, and so I it, 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 I did do that, and um, that video was several days ago because our videos are not like recorded and edited all in the same day. Um, our animals are completely fine. Our animals are completely happy. I did do one thing this uh this morning is is I did cut an extra hole and I and I'm and I even said in a video that I'm gonna watch it. I may tinker with it here and there. And I did cut a little extra hole in one of them. Um not the nugget one, but the other I did cut a big hole in nugget one for a nugget so he can scoop his head in there. And um so the waters are working out fine. I would never do anything at all to harm our animals. Um you know, this is a, uh, yeah. I mean, and I think there's a lot of newer, newer viewers probably that didn't, that probably haven't watched many of our videos. So. Can I read that? You can if you want to. Okay. And this is why he's clarifying. Well, it. this wasn't the only one. There no, were some other, I other read people. Them. I read them too. But there were some other people that were wondering about it, wondering about the level. Uh, like I said, I, their nose goes about this far in there. I mean, it goes a long ways. And those are 50 gallon waters. So when something's, when I 50, when it's gone down about that much or this much, that's a lot of gallons of water. So, and you know what else? What's that? Is something that you didn't say is that those troughs had we had elevated them for several weeks to see if that would work. Oh, I elevated that one for months. For months. Yeah. And y'all, you would see the a next duck day the duck that was this tall, <laughs> splishy splash, jump six foot to get <laughs> in that water trough. It would. And. I'm telling you, I mean, it was amazing. You would oh, never, ever man. think that a duck could get in that elevated truck. Right. And they found their way in. I just knew the elevating elevating thing was going to work, but it it, it, it didn't it, work. And, and we tried all kinds of stuff here and there. And um, this this one just seemed like it was going to, because I already tested it out. Yeah. The disgust on your face when you saw them oh, after gosh. you <laughs> elevated that truck. Y'all, you don't know how frustrating it is. Well, first of all, I fill up yeah. the chicken waters. I fill up peaches water. I fill up nuggets bucket water yeah, that hangs right. on the fence. Mm -hmm. I fill up all the waters, but I can't fill up those big heavy troughs. I do all the big troughs. I do Moody and the boys. Now, I, I was having a Moody's is tall, and I was having a little bit issue with it, but I moved it in the corner, and, and then it's kind of where the electric fence kind of crosses it, so... I had any more issues with ducks over there at uh, all. You better be quiet. Knock on wood. Knock, Knock on, on wood. wood. <laughs> well, there's a secret nest right over there that I oh, bet you I haven't know. seen. Oh, I know. I've seen her. The I black and white one? Yeah, but I can't figure out why the other one abandoned hers. Because, Jason, her eggs were rotten. Oh, never mind. I, I went guess that's looked at I couldn't figure out where they went. Why, she'd been sitting a while. Well, they were rotten. Mary Carl and I went and checked on the duck that is sitting. Yeah. The, the little black and white yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And upon our path, uh -huh. we went and looked at where the tufted duck had been sitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And her, oh my gosh, oh. it was gross. Well, I hope Moody don't, uh, well, hope he don't come stepping on a while. Their path's gone. I don't Ooh. know what happened. But I was just going to read y'all this comment <laughs> to tell you that this person doesn't watch our videos very obviously often. Obviously doesn't watch. I went back and searched his name, and he's never commented before. So this is obviously his first video he's ever watched. I got really tickled <laughs> because <laughs> the, the comment <laughs> says, it's not working. It's not working. The water levels never went down <laughs> because the cow and goats can't get in there to drink. Poor animals are going to be dehydrated. <laughs> I may report this farm for water deprivation. <laughs> I literally oh my laughed out loud. You sent it to me and I, sent I it laughed to you. back. It was funny. She said, this person says they're going to report you. It's like, oh boy. And I put crying tears because <laughs> oh, I then turned man. to Mary Carl, who was in the car with me. Oh gosh, I can't imagine what she said. And I told her, I said, Mary Carl, yeah. I said, this person's going to report us for water deprivation for our animals. <laughs> And we recently visited a couple oh, of gosh, farms that um, laughing so hard. it just opens your eyes when you go other places and makes me realize how clean our farm really is. <laughs> it, is it is clean. It is very clean. Yeah. It is very clean. <laughs> I haven't even had a chance to tell you about the last mm. one I visited. 
and it was mm -hmm. nobody that we even know. But right. It was um, it was bad. I mean, our waters, our animals have clean water every single day of the even life. even when the ducks neck, I could I could those it trough waters, sick. I could fill the one up. When my, once I realized my thing was working, I was so happy. When I put the regular old fence, it was the was it four inch squares or six inch square fence that I put on there, and it was working. I was so happy because I was cleaning out two of them multiple times a day, and um, and I got where once I realized that was working, the other one where Nugget was, I wasn't filling it all the way up because that was so much water being wasted. Yeah, I would even I wouldn't even fill it halfway up. Right, and you know this low to the ground that everybody can drink, <laughs> and um, I was like, there's no sense in me even filling this thing because I'm gonna come back out here. And a few hours and empty it out, squirt it all out, and fill it back up again. And uh, so it is a huge relief, a huge relief that um, it's now I know that the one where Nugget is is going to get nastier than the other one right. because of the geese. But they do, they stick their head well, through they there. Do. And, and, and we the, want them to be able to. We want them to, and plus the geese, they, 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 they mix their and they blow their nose out or clean their nasal passages and. Eventually, it's going to get nastier than the other one. But and I may, swimming but in it and drinking it are two different things. That the, the the doing number two in it's what always upsets me. So and we have kiddie pools galore. Oh that, gosh, that have have signs on them that says that "Come swim here, please don't <laughs> swim in the water troughs." <laughs> but you know what I was thinking while What's I was that? reading that comment that that person wrote that they were going to report us for water deprivation for our animals. <laughs> I was picturing myself this morning <laughs> as I can, I still have on, I still have on those pants and they have green on them from where I squatted down and I took a scrub brush and I scrubbed the call ducks swimming pole. Yeah. Now anybody's going to scrub their call duck swimming poles and you're going to report us for water deprivation. You know what I was thinking? What? Is that I can see the local officials come out. <laughs> For a second, somebody just reported y'all and trying to keep a straight face. <laughs> Mary Carl said, Mama, who are they going to report it to? Oh, you know, I was thinking about let them come. Was our buddy at the Clack Shack. Yeah. Him coming over here trying yeah. to keep a straight because he's the assistant assistant chief of police. Yeah. <laughs> I, can, I can just see, you know, I just thought it was funny. Well, it, it is funny <laughs> when, when somebody can make a oh, comment man. like that and. Ooh. Not know the situation. Yep. That made them happy. Then it, you know, that's all that matters, oh, right? Well. It's, 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 it's. Hey, I got good. a new product. I hadn't told you about it. You didn't tell me about it. If I can get it in my pocket. So my mama has this really good friend that she went to, um, she went to high school with, even, right. and she still has contact with her. her name is Celia. Mm hmm. And Celia lives down in South Alabama, and she sent Mary Carl and I, as well as my mom, a little package this week. And it's something that I love. It is chapstick that has color in it. So, for years, I've been using... What? I can just see me picking this up and not knowing any well, difference. Let me put some on you. Come here. Let me see if it if shows put, up. Come can't here. you see me going to the dentist this morning and my lips are chapping? This I, and I drove your car and me getting that <laughs> up and not, not knowing it is colored chapstick and me putting it on them, be bopping it in the dentist office can over there. Can I try some on you? I don't need it. No, I'm good. Well... <laughs> It's something that I really... Wouldn't that be the way? Yeah. Don't oh my pick God. this up. I'm not going to pick that up. <laughs> she sent me one and she sent me a Carl okay. one. And you know, I like to share stuff that I like. And I had no idea there was e even such a thing made. It's got, a, it's got a color. It's got Merlot on it right there. So I know that's a color. So I'm going to be sure not to get that one. But ever since she sent it, <laughs> I have been carrying it in my pocket. And I've been mm. real careful to make sure I get it out before I wash yeah. my pants. But I love chapstick. I love to keep my lips hydrated. Right. And it even protects you from sun because it's moisture and it's got SPF. Tint. In it. Yeah. And um, it's just wonderful. It's wonderful. I just love it because it's just a little. You know, it does look like a lipstick too. Do I will give it that? Because there'd be some husbands in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. It could and I don't know husband. if they make it in different colors or not, but I really like it. I can I can see a husband accidentally putting this on and coming in late. 
Oh, and his goodness. wife won't know what in the world's going on. Well, you don't do it and we'll be okay. <laughs> I really like it though. And I'm, oh. I'm just happy to. Oh my gracious. To share that. I'm glad you did. Um, I'm glad you shared it with me too. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been a mess. Yes. <laughs> so we have a visitor tomorrow. Oh, yeah, we do. We have a visitor tomorrow, and that is Mary Carl's friend, Caroline. That's right. Who has moved to North Alabama. Her family has some, some things to do, and Mary Carl will be delighted to have Caroline here and spend the night with us tomorrow she night. She will. So that'll be, that'll be our special company for the weekend. That's right. Special so, company. We ain't had a... Uh, uh, this will be our first spend tonight. night? It will. Piper had not spent tonight. No, no. Our first spend tonight. night company. So I'm hoping that yeah. we can get the pantry stuff out of the extra bedroom in case Caroline wants to sleep in the extra bedroom and not feel like she's got to eat all night. That's right. Because all of our pantry stuff is in boxes in the extra bedroom right but now. But Roberto and Heidel feel pretty confident they're going to have your pantry ready tomorrow. Really? I think so. That, I think that so. That is... That is wonderful. I think they're going to feel, depends on how long they work. You know, those guys. Yeah, and Monday is Columbus Day. I mm -hmm. don't think that would affect them much, but it is no. a state and, right. you know, holiday. I guarantee you that Heidel and Roberto will work Monday. They, 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 they'd work Sunday if we'd let them. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So, I have a video coming out tomorrow. That's right. Y'all check it out if you have a chance. And do you want to take some questions? Uh, we can take a few. You tell me. It's up to you. I've got my glasses on my head. I intentionally went and, and found the ones that I need. Somebody says Burt Bees has color in it, too. They do. But guess what? What? That's what That's what I was going to say. Is I've used Burt Bees for yeah. years. But recently, I have been unable to find it. And I've had to order it. Oh. And now I can just pick up colored chapstick. Because it's available everywhere. Did we get our handrail yet? I've seen that come up a lot. No, no. no we I, got we got some backup plans coming, and I got a feeling. I just got a feeling that we're going to have to go with a backup plan here. Well, I did call the gentleman and leave him a voicemail, as well as sent him a text and gave him until Monday, the tenth. Isn't that right? That's what I told him. It was the tenth. Yeah. Yeah, the 10th. I think that's right. I told him he had till Monday the 10th to get the railing installed or else, you know, I was going to have to do something different. And or I told him or I'm asking for a refund on my deposit. Right. Now, I don't know if that's going to mean anything, but that's um that's where we stand with that. So who made this? We've had this one for a while. We have. And oh, we, we well. do plan to. Put our, um, Chris and Kimberly Wade. 21. 2021. January, January of 21. So it's getting close to two years old. Yeah. That's, but we love all of our, our signs and Cog Hill memorabilia, and we'll start decorating mm -hmm. as soon as we have a chance to sit down. You know what? These What's glasses it? just do not do me well. I can read a book with them. That's kind of a little further away, I think. But I cannot read that screen with them. Yeah. So, um, let's see here. Are we going to put, oh, the bottle tree. Yeah, we're going to put the bottle tree back up. We're probably going to put it in the uh, protege garden once we get it going. I thought we was going to have to put it in here earlier because we thought we had a ghost in here. <laughs> Originally, that's what bottle trees were uh, for, was to ward off the evil spirits. Now, we, we like them because they look pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said that Walmart sells the Burt's Bees, but it's been moved around. Oh. Unfortunately, our Walmart does not have it. Okay. I bumped the computer. I'm sorry. But yes, I have tore our Walmart apart, literally, looking for the colored Burt's Bees. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm unable to find it. So I ordered it. The last that I bought, I ordered it on Amazon. And Somebody said that they just they got their whoopie pies. Oh, really? And they were delicious. I wish I had one right now. Zoe's on there. They're moderate. Oh, are they? Mm -hmm. Chestnut Hills. If y'all are not following Chestnut Hills on Chestnut Hill Farmstead on um, YouTube and Facebook, 
Um, go check those guys out. They are now a moderator helping us out with the comments, uh, along with Big Family Small Farm and Head Family Farm. But I think those guys have other things going on tonight. So uh, Somebody said no bottle trees because they're tacky. Oh, my Our gosh. bottle trees mm. are not tacky. They're not. They're pretty. You might think they're tacky in your own eyes, but the way we're going to put them Ours and the pretty. way we're going to decorate yeah. them, you're not going to think they're tacky. That's right. Do we plan on having plans to get any more animals? Uh, eventually, I think we're going to get some donkeys. I think that probably if I had to guess, and this is just me going off all on whim. Right. But I'm thinking that sooner than later, we will have to get another livestock guardian dog. Yeah, we will. We will. We want to, but we want to get settled oh, in one hundred percent in the house. And the same with the the donkeys. We we'll, um once we get settled in in the house and the driveway's finished and we're done with all the subs on the house, the subcontractors, then we'll start looking at the barn because that's something that we'll have to sub out too. It's nothing something that me and you can't build. That's right. And so um. Amazon has the Vera thing. But can yeah, but I need it by tomorrow, mm -hmm. and I don't have Amazon right here. Um, so the barn, the barn will be a project in the near future, too, and then we can start looking at possibly getting some donkeys. And so. I even thought about, you know, once we get the barn built, it would be excellent to have the puppy to have a place yeah, to you're right to know where you're Fo right foxy's gonna be here yeah foxy's gonna be right here foxy's gonna be yep. in this area she's guarding the house she's guarding the the fenced in areas around here so i'm thinking that um and you know what too if we get one i think we need to get a female you think yeah because something about the boys just seem to, even though that they've been fixed, they seem just want to still wander off a little bit further. Right. The and females seem they want to stay. Lulu wanted to stay here. Foxy wanted to stay here. Jewel stays here. Sunny, uh, stays, Sunny here. stays here. But Bear? Yeah. Bear would just go wherever he wanted to. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, so, so I, I, I'm thinking that um, we'll probably get female. We'll, we'll cross yeah, that bridge we when we get there. We but. will. We're not ready for it yet. We're not ready yet, mm -hmm. but um, just answering that question right. as to what what kind of animal we know we have to eventually get another another livestock guardian dog, and we haven't lost anything to make us think Foxy's not doing her job. Right. But once we spread our farm out a little bit, yeah, I think you're right. And we have basically use of all well twenty pasture mm -hmm. acres versus the few that we're on over right, here. Right, right. I think it'll be. Uh, an emu friend for Nugget? No, we're not planning on getting Nugget an emu friend simply because the females, as you guys know, if you watch other farms, yeah, female emus, when, once they get a little bit older, they can be aggressive. They can be. And yeah. We just, we, I mean, Nugget is the most lovable animal. And the only thing I worry about is because it has crossed my mind that maybe we could get another male. Because the male male emus don't tend to be as aggressive. And if we could get one that was just born and hand raised it like we did Nugget. But the only issue I have there is, is that Nugget does not like anything new no. whatsoever coming in his territory. Even so y'all, even a duck that he has not seen. Yeah, or chicken. Just say, okay, for instance, the other day I was filling up the, the pools out there in the geese area, Nugget yeah, area. Yeah. And along comes the duck I was talking about earlier, the mm -hmm. little black and white duck. She's been gone for, I guess, 20 days or so. Ducks right. sit on eggs for 28 days. And she's been gone for about 20 days. Nugget saw her and knew that she had not been in there yeah. and immediately went after her. Yeah, so that's that's what he does. So if you get in his territory and, and you don't, and he's not, he, if you're not one of those geese, if you're not somebody he frequents every single day, then I then, say body, yeah, some animal, yeah. Then, then it's uh, then he's uh, he's very he's very territorial. So we have to be careful. That's my thinking is, is if we was to get him, man, we couldn't it couldn't stay in there with him when he was little. But yeah, we don't know what, what could happen. Not. Um, then as they got older, would they fight? I, I I just don't know. I don't I don't know. But Nugget's perfectly happy. He's got. He's no different than he was at the other farm. He's got chickens and geese that frequently that he knows. 
Um, he loves Joe, and he loved Joe at the other farm. <laughs> They're um, like two peas they, in a pod. They are. And you know what? Honestly, I would put him in with Joe and Moody and Topper if it wasn't for the food situation. That's right. That's the only thing that I worry about is because, you know, we, we, we're so specific when it comes to feed here. You know, Moody gets a beef feed. The boy Sorry. goats actually get a buck, goat buck feed. And then Nugget gets a certain crumble chicken feed. And then the girl goats get a, 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 a goat feed that's more, you know, more for them. And so I, I don't want to mix up feeds. And so that's the only drawback of us putting him in there with Moody and the boys. Because I think he would do, do well in there. I really would. But it's the feed situation. And if we can figure that out some kind of way, we may once we get up the barn. I don't know. Yeah. We'll, I, we'll, we'll, we'll just have to. So, I wouldn't have any um, reservations about putting him in with, with Joe. Yeah, no, not his, at all. His BFF yeah. from across the pond. That's right. <laughs> well, not really across <laughs> the pond, but across the fence. Right. Uh, I read a lot of comments on the video today about why don't we keep the ducks in a separate area? It would be impossible. It's what? impossible. Because they can fly. They can jump. They can go through the fence. Um, they can go under the gate. Uh, it, you'd have to build an aviary. And Mary and, Carl, <laughs> I mean, she, we don't want to do that at all. She, um, being the bird loving girl that she is, she's totally against wing clipping. So we don't clip any wings around here. Right. Um, we let everything be natural because if they were to have a predator after them, they need to be able to fly. Right. If they were given the ability to do so. Right. So. Right. And, uh, somebody asked about Nugget running. Um, you know, Nugget is a, over two year old fully mature emu now so the little silly of him running and, and acting silly is kind of you know only time he runs now if something gets in that pasture <laughs> that he don't want you know what i noticed that he but runs kinda, over what the when pigeons. mary carl lets her pigeons yeah. out yeah the pigeons and it's because it's new yeah and it's well it's not new but it's different yeah it's different to him than what he's seen in his two years of life right when they come out of that loft he immediately starts running. Yeah. And it just strikes him as interesting. Yeah, it does. But other than that, you're not going to see Nugget running. You're not. Even if we let him out now, if we if we were to let Nugget out right now, he wouldn't take off running. He would just walk around. Um, it's just because he's older. You think of a baby goat. You know how baby goats are? They're silly and they're jumping around and running around. And, and so it, I'm, emus that we've learned are pretty much the same way. Plus here... His area is so big compared to where he was when we were at the other farm. He has so many square feet oh, compared gosh. to what they... It's 10 times bigger, are, if not know, bigger. Yeah. Required square right. footage is. He right. has so much more area, and he doesn't utilize it, except for to walk up and down the fence with his boyfriend. He likes walking up and down the fence with Joe. And then you'll see him run. I mean, not run. You'll see him go out. He, he likes to hang around the back some, too. I see him out there in the back, very but I back think end that's of the probably pasture. because Joe's back there. It could be. It very well could be. If I if I could figure out some kind of way, because we don't want them cross eating feed um, for the health reason. That, that's the main reason. Um, and I, I would I would do that. I would definitely put those two guys together. Yes, I definitely. Would. Um, another thing I wanted to mention was about a livestock guardian dog, and yeah. we've talked talked about this. In the past, is we do not plan on getting another Great Pyrenees. Right. We love Foxy. We loved Bear. Yeah. We loved Lulu. Mm -hmm. But Alabama humidity. In the heat, it's just so hard on. It you, is. A lot of people thought that Foxy <laughs> wasn't even with us anymore this summer. And it was simply because of the fact that she, was in she the, gets so hot. Yeah, she was under the truck or under the camper or under the tiny house. Now she hangs around the porches. Because it's concrete, and that concrete's cool, and it's in the shade, and so she she hangs out there. Um, you, you don't, but you know, you've seen her here lately because the, we've had cool mornings, we've had cool mornings, and so she's laying out front, and she's but acting yeah. like a puppy in first thing in the morning because yeah. it's been cooler. Yeah, and it's just just we feel like it would be better suited for our farm to have a dog with short hair. Yeah, and we're looking at an Anatolian Shepherd, just more likely what we'll lean towards. Yeah. Yep. And we looked at that before we got Foxy. We did. Um, we there, did. There were some some things that we had questions about in the breed, and we just kind of went with what we had assess ability well, well, to Foxy at the time. Well, Foxy is allegedly a mix between. Yeah, she's an Anatolian P 
Pyrenees mix. But she got the longer hair side because her sister yeah. has got we, short hair. Our friend got short hair. Laura yep. at Simply Making It has Foxy's sister, Weenie. Mm -hmm. And Foxy has always loved to eat eggs. Yeah. <laughs> Everything that lays eggs here now is in a fenced in area. Yeah, so she can't get to so them. So she can't get to them. Yep. But when Roomba laid eggs in the cat house that yep. was in front of the little camper, you'd see Foxy walking and she'd hurt her lips to go like this and she'd look like, I don't have an egg. I yeah, promise you, I don't have would. an egg. She would. She'd get, the, exactly get Roomba's eggs out of the exactly. cat house. <laughs> I don't have anything. Oh. And the crazy <laughs> thing that she can do is she can take the egg oh, and man. she can set it down and she makes yeah. a little tiny hole in it. Yeah. And she never busts the whole egg. She just makes a little tiny hole in it and is very careful about getting the contents out. She is. We don't encourage her to eat eggs, but she has been known to get a one or she, two. And yeah. Weenie does the same thing. Weenie That's where I was getting thing. at. I got you. Uh, Laura said that. She has a problem with weenie eating eggs. Mm, 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 mm. So a couple more and we're going to stop. That's right. What are whoopie pies? Whoopie pies or, well, at least we call them whoopie pies. There's like giant cookies with some awesome cream filling in the middle. Well, <laughs> some, people, oh, some people got mad at us for calling them whoopie pies and even told us the definition of a whoopie pie was not what we were calling a whoopie pie. But... Upon Googling, anything with a cream filling that's a cookie outside right. is a whoopie pie. So we didn't, they weren't just oatmeal cream pies. That's little Debbie's doings. Yeah, that's little Debbie's doings. This is little Zoe's doings. <laughs> and they're whoopie pies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gracious. Oh, one more, man. one more. Oh man. We don't see any coming through. Just well, we're, awesome we're still talking about the whoopie pies, oh, okay. I think. I got you. Um, yeah, I say call them what I want to call them, too. We're known to do that. Yeah. <laughs> we, cocky, have, cocky have got their own language. Their own lingo. <laughs> the, who makes them? Chestnut Hills Farmstead, Farmstead makes who, the whoopie pies. That's and who she, made them for us. And she ships them. She does. She ships them. Absolutely. It's like all of a sudden, do 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 and just... Yeah, yeah. Then they're just going 100 miles an hour. Crazy. Oh, here it is. Okay. okay. Are okay. you ready? I'm ready. Are y'all ready for the last question? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. What about the cabinet doors? What about the cabinet doors? We didn't talk about that. We didn't talk about that. We no. Don't, we don't have any cabinet doors. We don't have any cabinet doors. But I did get a text. I will say this. I will say this. The cabinet guy versus the handrail guy. They're not brothers. There's they're not, no they're way. not brothers. Because they don't even have the same. You know what I mean? Yeah, they don't even have the same last name or nothing. Well, no, I'm saying the cabinet guy is, he responds. That's what I'm he saying. He answers every that, question I have. That's the difference. The cabinet guy, then if he's going to be late, he's going to send you a text and say, I'm not coming today. I had you scheduled to come today. I'm not coming today. It's going to be Thursday. Yes. Then you're going to get a text on Thursday or Wednesday night saying, I'm not going to make it Thursday. It's going to be next Thursday. <laughs> well, that's how he rolls. And that's we know how that. he rolls. And so he does communicate with us. The handrail guy is just crickets. It's crickets. Crickets. The last I heard from him was, I will call you this evening about installing. Yes. I never had a phone call. I never had another message. I've called him since. There's been nothing. Okay, mm. so to answer the question about cabinet doors, I was told that it's going to be at least another two weeks. Yes. And I am thankful that he reached out to me and told me that because right. I didn't ask him. That's right. I did not ask him. I knew that last Friday had been two weeks. This Friday's three weeks. Mm -hmm. But I didn't ask him anything, so... Two more weeks, we'll be looking at five weeks. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be looking at five weeks. But that's okay. That's right. That's okay. It's okay. I'm there. That's nothing to get flustered about. That's right. My railings, he has my deposit. He has a deadline. He hasn't 
delivered, that's something to get flustered about. And then Nick from Chestnut Hill said he may have somebody yes. that can weld it. And then first thing, listen, the first thing, Heidel and Roberto we came here. We talked about here. that. Roberto came in and said, hey, no where's railing. your handrail? He said he can do it. I can do it. And we know he can do it. We know it. he can do it. But um, the reason that Roberto and Heidel haven't built it yet is because we had in our mind we wanted this welded railing. Right. So we may we'll end see. up going back to square one, but that's we'll okay. We'll see. We'll figure it out. Yep. 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 Well, guys. I'm going to stay here. And you. Okay. All right. Then you stay here then. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I have much else to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> guys we thank y'all so much because we know y'all could be anywhere else besides here with us and we thank y'all so so much for that and uh video coming out uh tomorrow also if you haven't seen brooke's interview over on tracy's channel at just dig it farms be sure to go check it out in her boots uh i've seen nothing but ooh hoodles of tremendous response on that video um where Tracy sits down and talks to you about everything. Yep. So if you haven't seen that yet, be sure to go check out Tracy's channel at Just Dig It Farms. And I guess that's it. I guess when are we going to do another live? Uh maybe Sunday. All right. Maybe I Sunday. I gotta save my voice. We'll figure something out. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, y'all be good.